Hi, this is Maginoni, and welcome to the very first top 10 uh, based on previews. This will be for the month of November. Uh, first up is Superior Spider Man number 21. Now, Superior Spider Man actually remains kind of strong in the top 10, and it's consistently there. Number 9 is Batman Superman number 5. This is the first appearance for Batman Superman in a long time in the top 10. Now, my thought is this probably is as a result of the gimmicky issue where you actually have to turn the issue sideways to read it. Number 8 is Superior Spider-Man number 22. Now this got a jump of 1 probably due to the strength of the Venom uh, crossover. Number 7 is All New X-Men number 18. All New X-Men also has been absent from the top 10 and most likely we can look at this as due to the fact of this is the ending of the Battle of the Atom series. Number six is Infinity Number Six. Now, Infinity Number Six actually took a drop of one, which is actually kind of surprising since this was just the last issue to end the whole series. Number five is Forever Evil Number Three. Now, Forever Evil did take a slight drop of one, but there's been a lot of changes within the top ten list, and it still remains a pretty strong of a title, so it's still very healthy. Number four is Superman Unchained. Now, I have no idea why this would even jump into the top ten, especially to number four. There's really nothing in that title to warrant it, except for maybe people love Lex Luthor a lot, and that's what drew them to that issue. Number three is Amazing X-Men number one. This also took a jump at the very first issue. Now, I guess the power of Nightcrawler wasn't as strong as what Marvel had anticipated because it definitely did not reach the number one sp spot. Number two is Harlequin number zero. Now this was a part of a surprise to me because I knew that Harlequin was actually going to be a strong title in the top ten. But for me this looked almost like a tryout book. And I didn't. there's no way I thought would have ever dreamed that this would have reached a number two ranking. But We'll see how well the title holds out over time. Now before we go over the number one book, let's take a look at what happened last year of 2012. Now in November of 2012, Marvel completely dominated the top 10 list. They earned 8 out of 10 spots, and that's primarily due to the Marvel, Marvel Now relaunch, where they changed creative teams and slapped number ones on all the titles. So pretty much everybody was just checking out to seeing what title was going to be good and which one wasn't. But for DC's credit, uh, Batman and Justice League for the most part have remained consistent sellers. Obviously Batman's always been strong. It's Justice League which is the one which is a little bit inconsistent uh, being in the top 10 one month being and then dropping out the next. Which is kind of surprising considering it's such a core title to Forever Evil that it makes you kind of wonder how come a title like Batman Superman or Superman Unchained would drop um, Justice League from that list. Anyways, the number one book for the month of November 2013 is Batman number 25. Now the Batman has been running high with the zero year uh, storyline and it's been a consistent seller overall. So that is November's top rankings. If you have any questions just leave them below. Uh, write some comments and like the Facebook link, Crunchyroll Anime Reviews are also in that link. And I'll have more reviews and other types of videos later. So until next time.